Right, so for this week's match blog, I've got quite a few matches to cover. I've been on a festival last week at Partridge, and then over the weekend, I've been on the Fishermania qualifier at Old Off, and also the Commercial National at Lindome Lakes. So the first match I want to talk about is the Tuesday Open at Partridge, but this was also the Fishing Association's knockout match against Chris Weeder. Now everyone will know Chris Weeder, he's a top angler, especially at Partridge, and he's one of my good mates, I knew he'd take some beating. Uh, it was a bit, a bit of a shame that we drew uh, together, because we knew obviously one of us was going to go out, and uh, it was just going to be down to whoever got a good draw on the day. Um, unfortunately for me, I actually drew peg 23 on late two. Um, on the day it was a north wind, so the wind was blowing off my back. And I didn't really fancy it to be honest. It set back and I just felt like my only chance if I was going to do well and beat Chris was to try and catch carp. So I mainly fished in the shallow water that day, ground bait and maggots down both edges and across into the mud line. And I didn't really catch a lot to be honest. I only had 14 fish, um, mainly carp, a few F1s and I ended up with £43. Um, it was just never really going to happen. I knew I'd spoke to Chris during the match and I knew he was catching well. He was catching across and in the edges on worms. He drew peg 83. And, you know, after like an hour and a half, he told me he'd got 30 pound and like, I'd got like two or three fish at that stage. So I needed to try and force my peg and try and catch some carp. And I probably ended up blowing it to pieces, to be honest. But uh, anyway, overall, Chris Weeder won the match on the day. He had £111, so I would have needed to have won the match that day in order to go through, and I just think that's unrealistic. So, massive well done to Chris on going through, and I hope he goes all the way in the competition. And I'll be having to look forward to it next year, hopefully, if it all runs again next year. Um, but that's just one of them things. So, the next match was the first day of the uh, three-day festival on Partridge. It was on late four and five. And on the first day, I drew peg 113 on late five. Now, I actually reasonably fancied this peg, and I had the wind off my back, but I felt like the straight that we were on was quite fair, and the section was sort of pegs 105 down to 113, and I thought that was quite a fair section, so I was quite happy. Plumbed up, and my peg plumbed up nice. I had sort of just under two foot across, and it plumbed up nice. I had the same in the edge, and I thought, I'm going to catch some fish here today. I, 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 I re, you know, I fancied it, and it was just terrible. I started off across with ground bait and maggot, the same again, and I never had hardly any bites. I caught one early, and then I'm struggling, and I ticked along, and I got to sort of six fish after an hour and a half, and then I just couldn't get a bite on any of my lines. Um, it was just so strange. I've tried fishing on the bottom down the middle on maggots just to try and get some bites. Couldn't get a bite there. I've had a go in my edge where I've been potting some ground bait, pole mix and micro is my usual mix. Couldn't get a bite. And it's, I think it's been the theme now for the rest of this week uh, as I talk about the rest of the matches is the fishing is so unpredictable and you can't work out what the bait's gonna be. You just have to try and work it out on the day. And on that day I was sort of everywhere ducking and diving trying to catch a fish and as it turned out after them six fish I caught in the first hour and a half I only actually managed two more fish in the last sort of three and a half hours and that was one on the mid down the middle on the bottom and one shallow I literally couldn't get a bite anywhere so it was so strange um, I actually finished with eight fish which was six F1s and two carp they went 25 pound which put me third in the section out of five so I couldn't believe I was third to be honest considering I'd only had 25 pound I thought I was definitely going to be last but I wasn't I was actually third and second was actually Mick Barlow who'd had 27 pound and the winner of the section was Cyborn who had 31 pound so it wasn't just me who'd struggled I only really needed two more bites to push me up to winning the section so I was a bit frustrated but it was one of them where I'd I'd come off the bank thinking I don't know what else I could have done to catch another fish and it's it's a horrible feeling that I think in fishing where you're coming off the bank and you feel like you, you don't know what you've learned and you don't know what you could have done better because I always think then you know you, you're not learning and you're not improving and um, so bit of a funny one that. but I was looking forward to the next couple of days I knew with a third that I still had a chance if I could have two more good days uh, in still framing so I weren't, weren't too disheartened 
so uh, we're looking forward to the next day. So on the second day I actually drew peg 130 which is directly opposite peg 113 what I was on the day before and it was the same wind it was blowing a southeasterly wind which was down to the other corner of the lake and I knew it was going to be very difficult again. I had some really good anglers in my section as well I had Andy Bennett on 117 and Johnny Jowett on peg uh, 119 behind me and then pegs had caught really well the day before so I knew they were going to be very difficult to beat um, but I had to just sort of go to my peg and just try and catch what I could out my peg um, what I decided to do today I didn't actually fish worms the day before but I knew a few anglers had been catching on worms so just feeding a little bit of chopped worm caster and a bit of peat and bind it together and just feeding little balls of worms and fishing a worm head on the hook and that had been a tactic which a few anglers had been catching on so I was going to feed a couple of lines with that so I had two lines across I couldn't actually fish right in the mud line because it was too shallow and it was all rocky and I couldn't find a nice bit to plumb up but I had two nice spots across where it was sort of 20, 22 inches deep. So I fed one line with ground bait and one line with worms. And then I did the same in the edge just to try and help me work out what was working. Whether worms was better than me maggot and ground bait or maggot and ground bait was still better. So to me right hand edge I fed maggot and ground bait and to me left hand edge I fed worms. So as it's turned out it's been really difficult again. I've started across, I caught a couple of early fish across and then I couldn't get any bites. I've had a look short where I threw some maggots in, couldn't get any bites. I've had a look on worms across, I couldn't get a bite there. And then I did manage to catch a couple of carp in the right hand edge um, on maggot and ground bait long down to the pallet which sort of kept me in it and I felt like I'm not doing too bad because I couldn't really see anyone catching. And then I've just really, really struggled again to put any fish in the net. Um, I'm going everywhere trying to catch it was pretty much exactly the same as the day before to be honest until sort of 40 minutes to go where I've had another look in my left edge on worm and I've gone in and I've caught two really quick I thought oh there might be some fish there now you know they might have turned up on this worms and I've carried on fishing that till the end of the match and I actually ended up catching 11 fish in the last 40 minutes which considering I'd only had eight fish all match the day before was a great run of fish so it told me that worms was working and worms was the right bait and maybe I should have fished them the day before and I might have been able to win my section but I only actually ended up with 21 fish these went 43 pound and that put me fourth in the section unfortunately um, there was a, another 40 pound which I just beat Ian Welsh on peg 115 and then Andy Bennett had 60 pound uh, Frank Cook has had 53 pound and Johnny Jowett has had 80 odd pounds so looking back at it I maybe could have caught what Frank had had 50 pounds but again I was never going to have a chance to win my section and I knew I needed to win the section that day if I was going to stay in contention to do well in the festival so I feel like on my first two days draws I just never had a chance in this festival to do well to be honest but that's fishing you can't always draw a good peg you've just got to keep going through the motions and trying to learn and trying to put things right for the next day so on the final day I drew peg 87 on late 4 so I was quite happy to be on late 4, a bit of a change of scenery after being on late 5 the last two days and I was quite optimistic that I'd catch a few fish. Again I never felt like it was a peg that gave me a chance to win the match or anything but I just wanted to try and you know catch a few fish and try and gain a bit of confidence in this worm fishing so I just decided to fish worms everywhere. I plumbed up to fishing two foot across with worms and two foot in the edges to either pallet with worms and I just thought I'm just going to try and make them work and I've actually had a real nice day's fishing I've caught quite a few fish across little stocky fish just feeding worms it was nice and steady I was getting bites they weren't big fish so a 12 ounce to a pound fish at the most but I was getting some bites and then later on in the match sort of last two hours I've caught a few more in the edge with a few better F1s up to sort of two pound um, and I ended up with 44 fish so I had a real nice day's fishing but they've only gone 73 pounds so they were quite a small stamp like I say but that was second in the section but more importantly that day it was a much nicer day's fishing a much more enjoyable day's fishing and I felt like I actually got the best out of my peg so I was really happy with that and it showed that worms was a good bait so going forward now I think 
I think we've got a couple of more, you know, dodgy days weather looking at this week, but then as it starts to warm up now, I think worms is going to be the bait that's going to play a massive part in all these commercial fisheries. In and around spawning time, where there's a few fish crashing about, I think worms is going to be the key bait. So that's something I've really learned this week. So overall in the festival, Craig Dickinson managed to win the festival. He had two wins in a second. So massive well done to him. That's awesome with the standard of angle and the way the lakes have fished. And I don't feel like he's drew particularly, you know, brilliant pegs and he's just got the most out of him. I think he's fished worms all three days. So a massive well done to him for winning. Um, and also well done to all the other framers. Mick Barlow on second and Steve Openshaw on third and everyone else who's framed. Massive well done to them. So on Saturday, it was the Old Off Fishermania qualifier and I've drew a lovely looking peg to be honest, peg 13 on boulders. And speaking to a few people that knew the venue and speaking to Melvin in the morning, he told me that it was a reasonable peg on the lake and that I would have you know, have half a chance of a good day's fishing there. And if, you know, the venue fished hard, I had a, you know, a chance of winning the match. So I went to my peg quite positive. I got to my peg and I noticed it, you know, it was a lovely looking peg. I had a nice mud line across, I had some stick ups and I felt like I was gonna have a good day's fishing. So plumbing up the peg, plumbed up across to the mud line and it plumbed up absolutely lovely to be honest. I couldn't believe how good my peg plumbed up. Lovely and flat, around 18 inches tight to the mud line. In front of the grasses either side, I had sort of just over two foot, so I give myself both options. I set up a rig for hard pellets in front of the grass in sort of just over two foot. And then I set up a rig for fishing ground bait and maggots or soft pellets into the mud line as well. And I also set up an edge rig to my right where I had a similar sort of depth around 18 inch. And I've also set up a little mugging rig in case there was a few carts swimming around on the top. As it turned out, I spent most of the day shipping across to the mud line, just potting in ground bait and fishing maggots on the hook. Again, Blake's pole mix, few fishery micro pellets mixed in and three maggots on the hook. That was by far the best. Just catching an odd fish, but they were nice stamped fish, sort of two, two and a half pound carp. So I knew I was doing all right. Catching steady away. Every time it sort of died on me, I had big pot. And then when I was fishing, I'd feed with a large guru pot just full of ground bait. And that's worked really well, to be honest. I've caught steady away, never bagged, but I felt like it was going to be quite a tough match. But then I actually got a phone call through off Sam Slockett, who was on Big Max, to say that Andy Bridge next to him was emptying it down the edge and that he was sure he was going to win the match. I think he actually said he had nearly £100, and that was with sort of two hours to go. So I knew we were out of the race to sort of win the match, but there was still a lake and a section to fish for. And after the last few days that I'd had, I was just hoping that I could, you know, win the lake and sort of get myself back into a good run of form. So I just plugged away, fishing across, catching what I could. Like I say, every time it went a bit funny, pot it, try hard pellets, caught a couple on hard pellets, back out across when, you know, a few fish had regathered. And then I caught two or three decent carp down the edge, again, feeding exactly the same, ground bait and maggots on the hook. I ended up that day with 32 fish, which was sort of a mixture of 50-50 carp and F1s, and these have gone £82, which managed to win the late, so I was really happy with that. Nice days fishing, and what a brilliant venue Old Off is, it fished really well on the day. It's, you know, it's not a venue I actually go to that often, and I don't know why, because the fishing was brilliant. There's loads of lakes there, and I'll have to get down on a few more matches there, because it was awesome, to be fair. On the day, like I say, Andy Bridge won the match. He had £148 off Big Max. I think he was on peg 17. I might be wrong there, though. Uh, and I think he's caught most of his fish down the edge and then a few also shallow on hard pellet. So, massive well done to Andy. Awesome, mate. Good luck in the final. So, the final match I want to talk about is Sunday's match, which was the commercial national at Lindome Lakes. And I was fishing for the Drenna Northwest team and we managed to actually win this event last year, so we were hoping that we could defend it again this year. My match, I was on peg one on laurels, which was in a corner, and the wind was blowing out, so it didn't look great, to be honest, but in these matches, all you've got to do is get the best you can out your peg and try and get the best section points for the team, and that's what I was going to do. So based on the last few days, I knew that for F1s, worms was a really good bait, so I just thought, I'm just going to fish worms, I'm going to fish worms short and long and worms up the bank to me left and I'm just going to catch what I can. 
and you know like i say try and get as good points as i could i didn't want to be messing about with loads of different baits i just wanted to use what i knew was working well where i've been fishing and hopefully it'd be good enough there at lindo so anyway my match i did have a quick start short on hard pellets at the start because normally that is a good way to catch a few early fish while you feed your other lines and i caught one fish straight away and then that was it i sat there for sort of 20 minutes after that never caught another fish so straight away i was wanting to swap that to worms so i just potted a little bit of peat and a few casters with some worms in short and then had a look up the bank to my left now on this peg i've got a real long edge here but the problem with it is it's very very snaggy and there's loads of roots in the water so it's actually very difficult to find a nice clean spot to fish and it took me ages in the morning of plumbing round to find one spot where i could actually fish and get into some shallowish water which was around two foot and i've just basically i've fished up there for most of my match and i've just fished worms and i've just caught an odd stocky and it's pretty similar to old up actually i'll just have to pot it and rest it and go on my long pole line even though i wasn't catching a lot of fish on the long pole i just had to leave it alone and keep going back in catching a couple more fish going back long feed there and just try and rotate it to try and keep an odd fish coming in the net it was obvious that you know there weren't a lot of fish in the area so i just had to try and catch what i could and i ended up catching sort of 24 little stocky f1s two decent f1s and a little car which went uh, 17 kilo 800 which is around 39 pound and that put me third in the section for behind two weights of 26 kilo so don't think i could have caught 26 kilo so i'm really happy with the result that i got from that peg third in section i think that's about as best as i could do so i was just hoping that the rest of the team had a reasonable day and as it turned out they ended up uh, coming fourth overall we've had a few tough pegs and the few lads have struggled but some of the other lads have done really well and we ended up fourth which i think off the set of pegs that we had was a reasonable result so the winners on the day were drennan barnsley blacks they just managed to edge out diver tackle and baits by 700 grams on weight which is unbelievable over the 10 sections that it can come down to such a small margin but that's what match fishing can be like sometimes um, massive well done to them they've put a lot of effort in as they always do practicing and they're a well deserved team to win so well done lads also i'd like to say a well done to josh turbull on the overall win I think that's the second time now he's won the commercial national individually so that's an awesome achievement mate massive well done I think he's had around 58 kilos so brilliant weight on the day well done Josh so as you can see I've had a real tough sort of week and um, still I've managed to enjoy myself catch a few fish and I'm just hoping now that in the next few weeks everything's going to warm up and everything's going to improve and there's going to be a few more fish going on the feed so if you're out have a great time and I'll see you soon for another match winning blog.